We're back here for the World Economic Forum. Special coverage. Tom and I, throughout the week, day three, almost there, and we have another two days. Now let's focus on the Middle East. Dubai's property slump has left some of its developers nursing the biggest stock losses in emerging markets. Damac, a Dubai-based property development company, fell 54% in 2018, more than double the drop in emerging market peers. Well, we're delighted to be joined now by Hussein Sajwani. He's a Damac Properties chairman and founder. So thank you so much for joining. You're we saw some pretty tough, um, I guess, rental income and demand for what you do in 2018. What is 2019 looking like? See, the property market is cyclical. We had some very good five years. We made a lot of money. We sold a lot of properties. And uh, 18 has been a softer year. Uh, we have slowed down the market. I think 19 going to be the same. And I hope by end of 2020, after the expo, market is still recovering. Uh, naturally, prices have come down. Sale has come down. But the good part is there is a good velocity of sale. It's still Dubai have sold in total, I think, last year around almost 18 to you know 20 billion uh, dirham, which is about you know five to six billion dollars. What do you need from the world economy to feel a little bit better, to, to be on a better footing for 2019? Is it the U.S. trade tensions? Is it a more stable price of oil? What is your demand here in Davos from all the people gathered? I think oil prices are very important for the region, and you know around 60, 70, which we are there. If they stay within that range, I think we are okay. Uh, the trade issue is a very big issue; is a large issue global, and I understand. I am very much pro, you know, the, 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 the trade should be encouraged. At the same time, we understand some countries, they want to protect their, their, their economies and they want to bring the trade deficit a little bit, you know, less than what it is at, at, at that stage. Um, what are your funding requirements <coughs> for this year? We, we, are, we are today one of the strongest financial company in the Middle East in the property market. If you take any single company in the property in, in, in the Middle East, including the government, private, we are the best of them. So you don't the, need extra funding? No. As a matter of fact, we're paying $250 million in April, mm -hmm. and we have the money ready. We're not going to borrow any money in 2019, uh, you know, and our debt's going to come down by $500 million by end of uh, 19 mm -hmm. compared to 18. You've said in the past that you'd be actually willing or happy to sell more of your company's shares. Is, is there appetite for it? No. I said last year, if there is, was a appetite, we'll be yeah. thinking, looking at it. Okay. Naturally, today with the sale, with share price so down, no way we are thinking of selling any of those shares. Okay. Is, is there a, a price target that, that you think appetite would come back? How do you view this? I don't see any uh, uh, intention of selling any shares in 19 or 20. Okay, in until the, the market recovers back. In the, in the, okay, the market recovers, which is understandable. If you look at the next three years, where will you focus your energy from? We focus on our, on our energy to reducing our overhead, which is important, with the sale being you know, less than... We're still selling. I mean, we're going to sell more than a, a billion dollars last year. And we're going to sell more than, a, hopefully, a north of a billion dollars this year. But we still need to streamline our overheads. We're looking at overseas markets. We're looking at UK very seriously. With, with, with Brexit, I think there will be opportunities, the coming opportunities. We're looking at other parts of Europe also. With any kind of Brexit or with a soft Brexit, would you be looking at Is it a pound? Is it almost mechanic if pound falls? Then actually you believe that it's a good investment? I hate to tell you, if it's hard Brexit, there'll be more opportunities. And we're ready to take advantage of that. Why is that? Because if it's harder Brexit, the pound is going to get affected. The property market is going to go down. And we'll be more than happy to go buy. You know, you buy when the market is down. You don't buy when the market is up. But, but then you and don't we, know... we're sitting a lot of cash, by the way. My company no. has more than $1.6 billion cash in the company. You know. This is interesting because a lot of you know, business leaders tell us that a, a no-deal Brexit, so a hard Brexit, would actually be very dangerous. So how do you see it going? You come in because actually it's good value, the pound is significantly exactly. cheaper, but then you expect trade agreements between the UK to, to, you know, to get better so the economy gets stable. London is London, and you buy when there's blood on the street, you know? <laughs> and if there's a weaker pound and, 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 and problems in the economy, and you can buy assets at cheap price, that's the time you walk in and you buy. You don't buy, you know, when the assets are at the, at the highest price. How much would you, money would you put in the UK, in London? We, we, we're already looking at deals, 500 million, a billion pounds, we will go in. Oh. We're looking at big, big ticket items. But, but recognizable? 
Or where, where in London? Uh, in central London, and let's say in zone one. Okay. Anything in zone one, that will be our focus. Okay, anything else? Any other regions, especially in Europe, that actually look attractive at the moment? At the moment, I know London market very well. Focus will be on London. We have looked at Germany, but we don't see attractive asset prices. We see them as still expensive. London, I think it probably it will come a little bit down more, and that will be the right for us walking. Mr. Hussein Sachwani, thank you so much for joining us. He is, of course, uh, the chairman and founder of Damak Properties. Now, coming up, we have a great